So what you just saw there is a humanoid robot from a company called figure.ai and they just raised a ton of money from top companies throughout Silicon Valley, Amazon, Microsoft, OpenAI, NVIDIA, all of these huge tech companies are putting money into Figure. Let me talk about why. So first, here's the Inc. article, Bezos, NVIDIA joins $675 million funding round for startup making humanoid AI powered robots. Now, Figure raised from Microsoft, Amazon, NVIDIA, who added nearly $300 million, and OpenAI and Intel both committed money as well. Now, I've been talking a lot about robots lately. I've shown off the One X robot in a previous video, but now we have another humanoid robot. And remember, one of my 10 predictions for 2024 is that robots are gonna take over. Hey, figure one, can you make me a cup of coffee? Thanks. Now let me break down this video a little bit. A lot of people are criticizing it because they basically take the easiest to make coffee machine, put it right in front of the robot, put the cup in the position to actually get the coffee, and there the robot is actually picking up the capsule, putting it in the coffee maker, pushing it down, and then pushing start. I still think this is super impressive. And not only that, the robot itself looks really futuristic. I love it. But yes, of all the demos that we've seen of robots, this is one of the more simple ones. But they are using AI and it is self-correcting AI, which let's take a look at that. So here in these videos, what we're seeing is the robot places one of the pods in the Keurig, doesn't get it right, and then fixes it itself. So that part is pretty darn impressive. So they must be doing something right to get so much funding from such top tier investors. But that robot looks very expensive. It's not actually out yet. And when it does launch, it probably is gonna come with a hefty price tag. But robots don't need to come with a hefty price tag. If you remember the Aloha robot, that entire thing was built for basically, I think it was around $30,000 and it used completely open source hardware and software. If you read the GitHub page, you can buy all of the hardware. They provide you with all of the software and you can put that whole thing together, but it can get even cheaper. Here is Alexander Koch and he says, early results from my AI training runs, I've trained my $200 robot arm on a simple picking task using imitation learning. It has learned to control the robot arm using only camera images and joint states. Now, when you combine this with the work that Dr. Jim Fan and NVIDIA are doing with their robotics innovations, the potential for really inexpensive robotics in everybody's household, we can see can become reality sooner rather than later. Let's take a look at this video. And extending on this, we have another example of a robot in an office setting. And this looks very familiar to the Aloha robot, except this is called Universal Manipulation Interface. In the wild robot teaching without in the wild robots. What that basically means is anybody can teach the robot how to do something by simply taking a video of it and using that as training data. Very similar to the work Dr. Jim Fan is doing with MimicGen. Let's take a look at this video.
So check this out. This is a bipedal robot learning agile football skills with deep reinforcement learning. Now that's the key principle here. All of the robot advancements that we're seeing, how they are becoming so good yet not needing a ton of extra hardware is because of reinforcement learning. Let's watch this video. Now back to Alexander Koch, he posted another video just a week ago and he said added more arms, the entire setup is now about $600. So he is able to actually teach this robot using teleoperation. And again, look, this looks like a Raspberry Pi. All of this looks to be very open source hardware. But don't count Tesla out of the game yet. Optimus is looking incredible. Elon Musk just posted this a week ago. Look at this robot walking around the lab. It is looking more natural every week. Let's say you don't wanna use AI. You have a more complex task that humans can do pretty easily. Well, check this out. Now we can have remote control of a robot using video games. And here it says, this is how you solve the mining labor crisis. Millions of Gen Zers playing video games all day can finally put that into good use. Give them a joystick and a $100,000 base salary can move rock from the comfort of their home. Technology is amazing. So very, very cool. Not putting any humans at risk. And another incredible robot in a form factor that I have never seen before. Let's take a look at this video. It is basically a drone inside of a metal ball cage type thing. And it's actually able to roll the ball. And then, well, let's take a look. Absolutely incredible. So the ball is rolling on the ground, rolling up the rocks, and then all of a sudden it takes off. It's so cool. And last, of course, Amazon. The biggest warehouse owner in the world has been deploying humanoid robots in their warehouses. Let's take a look at what those look like. Amazon has already started testing Digit in its Seattle Robotics Research and Development Facility, potentially adding to the company's fleet of more than 750,000 robots. The fact that it can enter places that were designed for humans um, and solve those challenges that exist without having to rebuild uh, the environment for automation. And it doesn't quit. And it doesn't quit. So 2024 is the year of robots. I am more confident in my prediction than ever. I'm gonna keep collecting all of these amazing examples of robots so I can show you. If you liked this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.